Legends, I come bearing great news. It's finally time. They're ready. They're grown. They're matured. I'm talking about our plants. Our plants. Or more, more I guess, specifically our fruit. Our alpha fruit is ready for picking. It's primed. It's actually... Is this still watering my dudes it is they're still irrigated and everything guys why is this so important why is this fruit so important to us well i'm glad you asked let me sit down and tell you in fact no i'm gonna stand up because this is an exciting time we're finally able to get some alpha dinosaurs up in this baby yeah no more delta dudes no more green delta dinosaurs in fact we could probably just throw them all and lead them off to their death because after today why am i so short right now let me sort that out after today we're only dealing with red dinosaur until we go and ascend to the next tier again but alphas it's finally time to tame an alpha that is if all goes according to plan which i don't well it might not who knows it never does really does it every now and then it does the last few days it has which means we're probably due a bad day oh no today might be a bad one well, there's only one way to find out. If you do enjoy it, though, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up while you're at it. Stop on that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any uploads, do you? Who knows? Maybe we just, like, absolutely kick this game's butt today and end up with an Alpha Rex. That'd be pretty darn cool. In fact, maybe that's what I set, set my sights on to. For now, though, let's just start by seeing how much fruit we've got. I'm assuming each of these has about eight in them. It does. Fantastic. As far as kibble goes, I have no idea how much kibble this is going to get me, but uh, we will see. We shall see in DDs. Uh, I actually don't know the recipe for the uh, the kibble, so let's uh, let's hop in our little supreme cauldron here and have a look, shall we? Let's get it in there. Alpha. Oh, yeah, there's alpha boss kibble too. I don't really know what that means, but it's something to do with alpha boss i don't understand that part i also don't have spicy herbs yet or alpha boss honey so or alpha eggs wow okay we, we actually need a lot of things but for now we're going to focus on this one here and it looks like we need two fruit per kibble we also need the blood and the essence and i hope i can oh no no hold on a second no that's not good that's very not good we need vegetables we need long grass, rock and carrot, citronel. No! Uh, okay, it's not the end of the world just yet. I do have crystal. It's not really crystal that I need, though. We need to expand our farm. Oh, I, I, I didn't even check. We literally checked this yesterday, and I completely... I guess I just wasn't paying enough attention. That's really not good. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a slight little hiccup. Might just need a little bit, do a little bit of waiting around while we wait for things to you know craft up and, and grow and all that sort of business um but we are most certainly 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 good we're gonna need vegetables um so we got all of that greenhouses i need uh the the, 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 the beer, beer, beer. where do we even get this stuff from where do i craft it again over here i guess greenhouse stuff uh please tell me i've got what we need for more of these we're gonna need two four six eight ten ish twelve maybe i don't know just just a bunch of walls basically can we get those walls we can we're good for the walls. That's fantastic news, as a matter of fact. And then we'll just get four ceilings. Please, four ceilings? Yeah, we're good enough for four ceilings. Okay, we really did collect enough stuff yesterday. Uh, right now, though, I guess I just need seeds. Oh, I'm actually spewing about this. I thought we were, like, ready. I was literally going to head out on an adventure. I was so excited. Turns out, no. I'm a big old dum-dum. Um, all right, well, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go and expand our farm out in this direction. Um... I guess. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I wasn't really... I wasn't ready for this. This was quite the surprise. Quite the unfortunate surprise. But, you know, there's always something ready to... There's plenty of surprises. Our life is full of surprises, isn't it? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go and expand this this way. And then I'm going to pick up these walls. And I, I'm also going to need some triangular ones as well, which I guess I didn't account for. But something like this, basically. Ish. Yeah. Um... I guess I'll place you there. Yeah, this kind of does the trick, I think. Bum, bum, boom, and boom. Lucky I've got plenty of fertilizer ready to go as well. But what we are missing, deltoids. Grab me some seeds, please. That's not seeds. Nor is that. Yes, it is. Never mind. Citronel, rocket carrot, saber root, long grass. We're set. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't showing up on the side of the screen. It was only showing me Naka berries and Medjo berries, which usually are the only berries I really care about. But today, it's all about the seeds. Now, I'm also going to need, like I said, a few of these bad boys. One, two, I don't know. We'll grab five of them. Five of these little triangular ceilings. One, two, three, four, five. My brain isn't functioning well right this second. It's Monday morning. What do y'all want from me? Hopefully, that is enough of these. 
and uh yeah enough to enough to get us get us going here oh no i didn't think this through though did i Huah. Ah, I'm going to have to modify this, but I don't care. We're going to work on it as we go. I'll probably make some, some modifications very, very soon. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, it wasn't even five. It was just it was just that amount. It was a lot less than I originally first thought, I suppose. Um, You know what? You know what? Just to make things... Oh, am I going to bot that stuff? We'll just leave it like this, okay? Let's just go and get this all sorted. Get our little seeds planted. And I'll get everything nice and watered. And we'll be set. In fact, is this rain? Yeah, the rain's not fertilizing nothing. It's not, it's not irrigating. It's only irrigated that one there. It's all good. Last thing I'm going to need is one of these. And I'm pretty sure I just ditched some of these flexi ones as well. So that's kind of disappointing. But it is what it is. Uh, from memory. Yeah, you can't just place that either. Of course you can't. Or maybe we can. Hold on a second. This will actually end up looking really nice, I think. I place that there. It's not very centralized, but it's okay. I'm sure it's going to get bunked around eventually. And place you there. And then we'll just do a bit of this little shenaniganess. And there we go. All right, we're watered. Fantastic. Now I just need some fertilizer. Some of these are very fertilized. My goodness. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now we just play the waiting game while all of our crops grow. Lucky for us, we got some things to do while we wait for that to grow because there is one more ingredient that we haven't really accounted for. And that is uh, this guy. We need some rare alpha flowers, which is something I've never got. So I'm kind of nervous about it. I feel like something's about to be sprung on me, but thankfully it's just rare flowers and alpha essence. So we should be a-okay here. Uh, let's just go and bust up all of this stuff into essence, I suppose. Probably shouldn't do all of it. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Just in case. But we do have 250 to get us started. So that is a solid amount right there. Uh, we're going to go and drop that over here. We're going to... No, we're not. No, we're not. No, no, no. We're going to bring it up here. Okay. Here, have like a good half of it. And then give me... I don't I don't really care. Just, just as many as you possibly can. Oh, the rare flowers. I forgot about that part. There's always a step that I'm missing. Every single time. Okay. I don't really know how many I want, but... Uh, like maybe just like 40, maybe just 40. I don't, I don't know. That should be enough. Eh, we'll see. We'll see what we end up with. Okay. Either ways though, we got 38, 40 flowers. We're going to chuck them up here, get them turning into honey. Maybe I should get myself a beehive, but the honey will do for now. And I kind of like having our little bees lying around as well. I'm going to give you a name. Hopefully this doesn't curse us. We're going to call you alpha bees. There you go. And uh, Delta Honey, you should get a name too. But no, I'm not I'm not feeling that adventurous today. In case you don't know and you're unaware of what happens around here, when we name dinosaurs, we usually lose dinosaurs. So we've got to be a little bit careful about that. We don't want to go and overstep our boundaries and test our luck. Because usually when we do that, things go horribly wrong. And we're going to hope that that doesn't happen today. So um, we are now just missing... <laughs> Our vegetables. Just vegetables, basically. That's really it. Everything else we have ready to go. So we're going to let our bee make our honey. And uh, I'm going to wait for my crops to grow. And hopefully, before we know it, we'll be able to go and get some dudes. Well, while we're waiting for that to do its thing, I figured let's go and pop some of these crystals and see what we can gather. See if there's any nice items, weapons, or other juicy business in here. Other than, of course, a ridiculous amount of copper ore, which we still need, which is good. I thought maybe we only needed this for the Delta tier, but it turns out the Alpha tier uses it quite a bit as well. So it's not redundant. It's still good. We're still using this stuff, which is great. And uh, we're getting a bunch of items out of this as well, which is fantastic. Uh, a lot of it's probably useless, like chitin armor but fa and fabricated pistols for that matter. A supreme bow. No, we don't need a bow either, though. Uh, wow. Okay. We... <laughs> Look at that. Uh, in good news, uh, I do have a hatchet already. Yeah, we'll keep that one there. I'm still contemplating whether or not we ditch the Delta pick because there is a good one over here. This one here is looking pretty good. You know what? I'll probably I'll probably make the old switcheroony. Oh, then again, should I just keep it? And some of this stuff is actually really good as well. Uh, the, the height. Most gauntlets, man. What is it with gauntlets? Ah, uh, you know what? doesn't matter. We don't need it. So I'm going to go and break it all down. <laughs> We're going to go bust it all up. At the end of the day, I guess we need the metal and the resources for our expanding 
and our greenhouses and eventually our base which i'm currently kind of planning at the moment so bear with me there the base will be built well it will commence the base build will commence soon maybe we shall see anyways uh i think we're good to go let's go and see if we can get some kibble now so i've already collected a bunch if you've done a few runs already our crops are all blossoming i even inserted installed rather some stairs but uh we've got four <laughs> that's okay i just checked these like five minutes ago <laughs> so this will do this will do got a bunch in the fridge don't worry it's all good I'm just hoping that we can at least get a good stack of kibble. Uh, otherwise, I don't think we're going to be taming a Rex today. Let's have a look there. If I can get 10. Oh, I reckon we can. We can. Okay, good start. Good start. Can we get any more than 10 though? Is what I'm curious about. 10's a good start, but it might not. Really? That's it? I can only get 10? What am I missing? Just rocket carrot and long grass. What about the other two? What have I got in here? Oh yeah, literally just rocket carrot. And we ran out of long grass completely. Damn. Okay. Oh, well, at least we got leftover fruits and stuff. I just wish I'd been more prepared. Oh, well, it's fine. Doesn't. It's not going to stop us. We're still going to go out and tame something right here, right now. And I'm not wasting any time. We're going to... Uh, well, we're literally not wasting any time. Let's go, baby! Let's go and find us an alpha. And like a good alpha too. Not like some measly little peasant alpha. Um, Hopefully. In fact, I should have brought a speed potion or something just to speed my way around the map a little bit quicker. But it is what it is. It's fine. So, we're looking for something red. We're looking for something... Yeah, just red. Oh, I mean, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It would be kind of nice. What do you think? Should we get us an alpha bulb dog? I'm not even joking. A second ago, I was like, man, I really wish I had a Delta Bulb Dog. Should I go tame a Delta Bulb Dog? That way I can just like jump my way around the map again. Kind of miss being able to do that. And then I realized we got like mega alpha Bulb Dogs. That would be amazing. I'm actually tempted to do it. I, I want to see how far you can leap around the map on them. Uh, if, I, if I find a nice level one and I've got enough kibble to make it happen, I'm actually going to consider it. Uh, I'm oh, Or... Uh, oh, okay, I don't have enough kibble for a Therizinosaur. Didn't even know you could get out for Therizinosaurs. A level 400 up here. We've got we've got the kibble to make it happen too. Honestly. Honestly. It's tempting. Oh, hold on, hold on. Resource Golem. All right, we've got to be careful of that. I should throw my, what do you call it? My Allosaurus army at, you know what? Actually, I do have one on me. I'm a little nervous about this. I wonder if Barney could take on a resource golem. Like, I don't think so, but... Oh, man. Actually, no, we should be good. Oh. Yeah, no, we got this. We got this. I just knew that we had, like, crate. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's, like, knocking... Okay, getting absolutely annihilated here. <laughs> I know that these guys... Oh, my goodness. The knockback on this thing. I know that they have damage reduction, and they do a good amount of damage, but I guess I forgot how strong my Allosauruses are. All right, it's finally time to see what these little resource golems do for us. I know that they give us, well, they give us loot and resources, I assume. I just don't know what kind of resources. So let's have a little look and see what we can get from this pile of rocks. These guys are much smaller than the, uh, the golems I've been encountering over on Scorched Earth lately. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you know what I'm talking about. That's right kind of running two worlds right this second only one of them you're seeing now the other you will see soon <laughs> anyways let's finish this thing off shall we there we go that wasn't too bad at least now i know i can take these guys on with these and what do we get from you oh we get admantium more too Ooh, okay wow that's actually really good we got a good stack of stuff <gasps> wait what hold on i've never seen this before an elite resource golem. I've, ne I've never seen this blue ring before. I wonder if killing the other resource golem spawns this. Either ways, I can't fight that. Um, I assume he's got better. I, I assume he's got better resources than than the regular resource golem. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you. Two million, two million health. Probably not. Yeah, probably, probably not gonna do that. No, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. All right, let's have a look. Oh gosh. Okay, things are dying up here. Where did my, um, where, where, where did my bulb dog go? Oh, what about a roll rat? It's only level 60 though. Yeah, where did my bulb dog go? I was going to come up here and, and get a bulb dog. Uh, I might need, need to just find another one. 
It wasn't like a ridiculously high level anyway, so I'm not that heartbroken about it, but I f it, it still would have been cool. This would have been really handy for just getting around the map, which is what I was most excited for, to be honest. We got crystal up here. Is this just regular crystal? And I'm still looking for blue gems as well. Unfortunately, none of them here. Uh, all right, let's have a look at what we can get. We got Triceratops. <gasps> what about a Mesopithecus? I feel like they would be able to run quick. They just look like they would be able to. All right, let's go for a little bit of a... Uh, a move some big old scorpions down here cardinal scorpion as a matter of fact um yeah there's a lot of death down there i'm not gonna go down there that doesn't look doesn't look like a good time down there basically apex sarco somewhere in the dist there he is there he is i knew i knew we'd run into one eventually there he is um but not a lot of alpha options there's a bomb dog oh it's only level 200 dang it uh yep no that's it there's a stego a kentro over there there actually is a stego somewhere oh it's an apex though uh really quickly though let me stop in here because i don't know what this is and it looks kind of cool this is really cool okay the what oh wait this is an obelisk these are the obelisks i guess it never occurred to me there's no obelisks on this map uh interesting and I guess this is where you summon bosses in. Okay. Artifacts. So you can craft these out of stuff. I don't know what mithril alloy is. I don't know what energy crystals are. I, and uh, you, you got the artifacts, obviously, too. A magic gem filled with the ancient magic to enter the arena of the Megapithecus. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I see. And you need diamonds, too. Then you got structures. Okay, the cryo fridge, of course. And then weapons. Oh, okay. So it's just the artifacts that you can craft weird stuff out of okay i guess i gotta do some research on those very very interesting well we're gonna have to do that at some point um but we can't do it yet because why well, i got no idea what i'm doing wouldn't even know if i tried um oh bold dog oh level 80 all right i think it is time for us to return back to base only momentarily and then we're gonna leave base again pretty well instantaneously however I do want to make one quick little stop over here to my Supreme Potion table. Uh, and the reason for that is... Hmm... I want the frog... Is it the frog elixir? Why not? Let's test it out. We got the alpha essence to make it happen. And maybe a speed elixir too. Because I feel like that would just be a fun time. Wait, what am I missing? Speed elixir. Alpha crystal, 10 delta essence? Well, let's get some essence then if I don't have it. Which I do. It's right there. And the alpha crystal. What are you talking about? I don't have this stuff. Game, you're being weird. Speed elixir. All right. I feel like combining the speed elixir and the frog elixir is going to make for a fun old ride. So let's go and see what happens. Also, what is this? Oh, that's the adamantium ore, of course. Okay. We've got the two elixirs. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. But let's go and see what happens. I don't even know which direction I want to like go into, but let's, let's do this thing. Um, frog elixir. <laughs> okay. And then the speed elixir as well. And <laughs> let's go. Oh my goodness. I reckon I could actually make that mountain if I actually aimed for it. And we're coasting. Yo, that was sick. Okay. Now, let's open our eyes and see what we're looking for. There's alpha beavers down there. Actually, I should be looking around these mountains. And Al I forgot alpha rexes are an actual thing. A level 180 alpha bulb dog. Ooh. There is a cave down there. Oh, alpha raptors over here too. Um, this cave looks kind of interesting. Oh, there's a death worm over there. Okay, we can't touch ground out here then if that's the... Oh, that I'm way too far for this. What are we doing? Don't be doing that. We are still... Okay, I'm getting a little confident, clearly. I'm just making silly choices here. I guess I forgot how deadly absolutely everything in this world is. Yeah, I knew Deathworm was going to come and scope me out. That kind of goes without saying. Those guys just snipe you from everywhere on the map. That's why I don't live on the ground. Live up in the sky. Deathworms can't get you up in the sky. <gasps> what about a jug bug? I mean, gas bag, not a jug bug. Been playing too much scorched earth. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, let's see what we got up here anything oh no oh you moron what are you doing <laughs> oh no 
Um, damn. That's not ideal, but it's okay. I'll have to just go get my stuff now. Oh, you gotta be joking. I clearly got way too confident. Then again, what was I doing? I was scaling a mountain. All right, one of those. One of these. Give me a quick speed elixir. No, what do you mean not enough resources for the pool? We got plenty. Give me a frog elixir. Let's go and waste another one of these gems. We don't really have many to be thrown around like this, but whatever. Give me that one there as well. And we're gonna go to do the exact same thing. We don't have a second glider suit. This is the problem. So we kind of got to just um, fly across the sky instead, which is what we're gonna do. Let's go. Get the elixirs in, bam and kazam. And then, and then, like a bit of this action and we. Oh gosh, I am actually gonna to to take full damage on this, aren't I? Or am I just gonna? Yeah, we did, but we're good. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! No, that was no no no. I was meant to I was meant to get air. There is a death worm down here. Somehow I didn't take full damage from that though. Oh my goodness. Okay, go go go. There's also a tiger or a lion or something. Oh please do not. I can I can't afford many of these potions. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> what a save. Oh goodness, I love doing that though. One of the benefits of living on a floating island, I suppose. Okay. The dream to tame an alpha is still alive. Uh, I just need to somehow get my stuff without dying to a golden cardinal saber or whatever it was. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's, let's actually, let's actually not die in the process of this, please. He's still up there too, I reckon. I say that because I, I, I haven't seen him down there, which means it's pro, 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 who knows? Where is it? One, where's my dead body? But two, where's this saber at? There's also a big old electric scorpion. Oh, I forgot I can do jumping things. Wait, are we even on the right rock? Is this the right mountain? Oh, gosh. No. Oh, okay. The dream is dying. The dream is dying. <laughs> the dream is very quickly dying. Mm, how many resources am I going to lose trying to do this? It's not looking good. Oh, dear. Well, at least we know how to get over there really, really easily. Uh, let me go and craft some potions again. Oh, I crafted the wrong elixir. Whoops. A hair elixir. To magically regrow your hair and beard. Well, it's nice. I wish I had that in real life, but no, we don't need that right now. Bam, bam. Now let's get running, shall we? Whee! <laughs> oh, why did I choose this? I'm going to die before I even hit the ground. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, there is so much deadly stuff out here. I have chosen the worst place to land just now. But if I got time, I can run. Let's go. Uh, oh no, that's not good either. That's not good either. Oh no. Whee! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Never gets old. Does that take full damage? Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, nice. <gasps> Hello. Okay, well, I'm glad I know where you are. However, there's a little backpack down there and I don't know if that's one of mine or not. I should have brought a... Uh... Oh, that's one of my dead bodies. All right, looking kind of safe out here then. All right, I'll grab that. And there's one of my gravestones. Which one is it? I assume it's the second one. It is, because all it has is a grapple bow on it. Okay, that's one dead body found. Now, where is the other one? I assumed it would be, oh, <laughs> yes, that is cool. Um, is it over there? It's over there. It's over there, right next to the giant T-Rex. Okay, that's not ideal. Oh, well, what are we going to do, eh? Um, we still get our speed and our hoppy elixir, so we can do this. And we got our stuff. Hey, buddy. No, thank you very much. No, thank you. For okay, I wasn't meant to go this way, but sure. Okay, sure. Who's gonna stop me? Let's go. Wait, what am I doing? Get your armor back on you, banana. Not that it's gonna save you much, but at least we can glide if we need to. Okay, we're back. Back in the sky. Now let's get back to plan A and see what we can actually find out in this world. We, we just never have luck out here, do we? I feel like I've died in this area so many times. I should really know better than to come back out here, but I want to explore. I've never been past this river, by the way. Like, 
th th that's how kind of trapped we are in this place. But what do we get here, eh? Oh, let me get my spyglass first. <gasps> a 540 and I can actually tame it too. Also the gas bags. I'm actually tempted to get this gas bag. Gas bags can fly, guys. Gas bags can fly. Well, they can glide. They can float, rather. But still, that's actually not a terrible option. I think I need a gas bags. And they look really cool too, of course. Okay. The problem here... Well, there's some ants around the place. That's not ideal. But also, uh, the other problem... Big problem, by the way. Okay, just regular ants. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm just used to dying straight away. But um, if I shoot this, it's probably going to fly away, right? Let's find out. Did I just miss it? Look at the size of the target. And I missed it? Alrighty, so I guess we got to try again. I only got so many of these darts as well. All right, you want new plan, actually. New plan. New plan. We just uh, stick ourselves to the side of this tree. All right. Hope this, hopefully this thing doesn't attack. I'll be very dead if it does. Got him. Oh, he attacks. Please don't be able to attack this high, though. Okay. I think we're okay. It's going to take a lot of uh, darts to get him down. No, that's what I didn't want you to do. I knew it was going to fly away. But it's okay. It's going to take us, in case you're wondering. It looks like four darts is enough to do 100,000 damage. So four times six is like 24. 24 darts. I've never tamed a dinosaur like this before, but it seems to be... Actually, this seems to be working. Okay, he wants me. That's good. Good signs. Just don't fly away. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. I will chase you if you do. Just don't die. Don't fly away. Don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm meant to be telling you to do or not. Just sit still though. Okay. This is good. I'm actually dealing a good amount of torpor here too. All right. There he goes. I knew it was only a matter of time. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to follow him. Um... I think he's dead. <laughs> Are you serious? The raptor just, just popped him. He, he popped like a balloon. Oh, you gotta be joking. All right, hold on a second. I you need to witness this. We have an elemental showdown going on here and I, got, I, I have no idea who's... All right, the fire one died. Okay. Electric raptor beats fire stego in case anyone's ever wondering. Oh, that gas bag would have been so good. I'm actually disappointed about that. All right, let's go. Don't have super speed anymore, but I've got super jump. Berserk Brachiosaurus? What? I've never seen one of those before. <gasps> Kano. There's an Alpha Kano. But it's also kind of next to a Prime Basilisk, which is probably not a good idea. Berserk Brachiosaurus, though. Whoa. <laughs> Just a regular Spino chilling out here, too, by the way. <gasps> Alpha Rex! I don't have enough kibble to get it, though. No! I need five more kibble. Also, I'm hearing music. That usually signifies something not good. Oh, I do not feel safe here. Do not feel safe here. Do not feel, do not feel, do not feel safe here. There's an alpha raptor. But I've got super jump. <laughs> yes. Woo, okay. That was clutch. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Okay, alpha rex. We have found one. 2.3 million torpor. Do you know how many darts that means we're going to need to knock one of those out? A lot. I can't tell you off the top of my head, but a lot. Okay, oddly enough, this place does feel kind of safe. <gasps> There's another gas bags. Level 400, and I've got the perfect amount of kibble for it too. But no. Uh, I think I'm going to... Oh, whoa. Frost Fenra. I didn't even know those things exist in the wild, but dude, I'm going to get one of those eventually. Uh, I think I'm going to get a bulb dog. <laughs> it's what I think I'm going to do. It's what we originally set out looking for. Oh my goodness. And look how close we are being. Ah, oh, 94% tamed. That actually hurts a little bit, but hey, at least it might be good for traversal. And then we're going to have a good amount of leftover kibble for taming something tomorrow. Plus the extra veggies that we end up with. It's it's probably going to be the better thing overall. But now though, let's just wait for my dude here to be ready. 
And let's see how fast and how far we can ride this guy without getting him killed. Come here, buddy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We've got our first alpha. He's only a level 120, but he does this, which is uh, not that insane, but still, still pretty good. He's going to need a name though, isn't he? You better believe he needs a name. And what am I going to call you, buddy? Well, what is, what better that name than, than the, um, I'm just going to call, call you top dog. He is the alpha dog after all. Top dog. Uh, wait, can you not jump? Oh, <gasps> no. Wait, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I tamed you to jump. What do you mean? He's not jumping. He can bite. Is that all he can do? What? No, no, this is a joke. What do you mean he can't jump? That's the whole reason I tamed him. Now I got to test out what he can actually do, but there's there's some pretty deadly things around. I just want to see how much damage a bite deals. Uh, okay, this guy is the opposite of what I wanted. I why did I tame this thing? Yeah, that's actually decent damage. Like for a, for a base di dinosaur. However, I am why am I taking that same amount of damage? It's a it's a bulldog. These guys aren't meant to deal with that sort of damage. I'm talking about him. I should be dealing this damage. Every Delta Bulldog I've ever had, I need to 400 damage. This one here has gotten triple triple mode on me. Well, I'm not going to bow down to a Delta. I'm not, I'm not, I'm an Alpha. I'm Top Dog. I'm not letting a little derpy Delta Dog take me down. No chance. Um, but yeah, he nearly did. And that's kind of disappointing, to be honest. Uh, I just want to jump. My guy can't jump though. So, um, yeah, I guess, um, yeah, I, we might've made, uh, we, yeah, not the, not the most impressive first alpha tame, I guess, but, um, Hey, it's still an alpha tame, right? It's a sign of good things to come. Hopefully the others aren't as disappointing as this guy was. Well, on that note, I think we should get this guy back to base. I'm not going to even try and run him home cause he ain't going to make it alive. Let's end today on a good note. A living alpha tame back atop the floaty island. You might even be the first alpha to ever set foot up here, buddy. So, well done. I applaud you for that. But guys, we're going to call this one right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to let my crops grow a little bit more. And then hopefully we can get ourselves a bunch of kibble. And tomorrow we might be able to tame something far stronger than this guy. Although he does look pretty freaking cool, doesn't he? Look at the size of him. Oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, until next time, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.